Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing the Thai land office. What specifically is that? Well, when you're dealing with property transfers here in Thailand, property conveyancing, so you're looking to buy land, buy, even buy a condo, you're gonna have to go deal with the Thai land office or sometimes called the land department. And basically, how to describe this kind of in an American context, it's kind of akin to a registrar of deeds on one hand, but they also actually convey title, which for laymen, they may not understand this, but yeah, the registrar of deeds, there may, somebody may be able to gain title to a place and their deed is not overtly registered on the registrar of deeds. There's, there's a few different ways that that can happen. I'm not going to get too deep into that. Long story short, that's not really what the land office does. They actually register title, and there can never be a so-called wild title out there, you know, wandering around that somebody can't see, like there could be in a common law jurisdiction, for example, in the United States. In Thailand, no, it's all done through the land department. The land department has to sign off on whatever the conveyancing is or whatever material change to the property there is, as we've discussed in other videos. There's varying levels of title in Thailand, and Chinook title being the highest level of title, highest in quotes, insofar as it provides freehold title. There's Sornor Samkor, for example, which provides a lower level of title, even though you've got basically all the rights associated with ownership. But the, the, thing, the reason for this video is we had a conveyancing case, I don't know, a week, 10 days ago, and I don't know how I ended up in the conversation as to what was going on because the attorneys that were working on the case were down at the land office dealing with it. But it just sort of came up, somebody said, this is a foreigner that said, well, I've done this before in such and such a place, I don't remember where it was, and we didn't do it this way, we did it that way, and blah, blah, blah. It's like, well, that's not how we do it in this province. Was basically, was basically the crux or the conclusion of the overall discussion it was basically, look, we're not, that's not how we do it here. Again, not unlike the immigration offices in Thailand, different land offices oftentimes will have slightly different protocols associated with conveyancing in their particular jurisdiction. Now, again, it's not going to be wild differences. The law, the body of the law is fundamentally the same. But yeah, there's just, they're just they do things a little differently in one office compared to the other doesn't materially change the underlying ownership of the property or anything? No, that would be a real problem, but it doesn't. It's just different places do things slightly differently and be prepared to expect that if you're dealing with a land office, an immigration office here in Thailand. You know, I've, I've noticed that different departments of land transport, the folks that issue Thai driving licenses do things differently from office to office. So not unheard of. Uh, I know it's a bit frustrating to foreigners here in Thailand, but it's not unheard of and I don't think it's going to change anytime soon.